All right. Time check now back in with Fox 12 Chief Meteorologist Mark Nelson. You know, it was nice because the snow it was here. It was pretty. Yeah. It came and it went quickly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that was yeah, the yeah. point. That was good. The only thing like I was it. disappointed with in the forecast was I thought we'd see a lot more sun. The clouds really never cleared out here in the metro. Okay. I was looking forward to the blinding sunshine, but yeah, yeah. You know at least who, it warmed up. You know I who isn't that. disappointed? People who are skiing today. We've seen yeah. dozens. I mean, Look this is that. the most we've seen the entire winter. I mean, everybody's in a good mood. Just uh, usually we'll see one or two people every few minutes. This is way up here at the top of ski ball, 5,000 feet. But man, uh, clearly everybody and his and her best friend has heard about the big snow that was going to fall yesterday. And uh, look at that. They're discussing it right now. Which way should we go? Which line <laughs> should we take? Or I don't know. Maybe they're discussing something more important. Valentine's Day discussions. Who knows? But anyway, um, yeah, great Valentine's Day up there on the mountain. Probably today was the best ski day of the uh, ski season. Tomorrow's going to be fantastic. Of course, the, the powdery dry snow will start to compress a little bit, but it'll still be nice. Lots of sunshine everywhere tomorrow. So there's a view up at, uh, or down, I should say, down at Chinook Winds Beach Cam at Lincoln City. 47 degrees there as the sun is about to set. And then uh, it looks like, looks like the sun is just setting from our Stoller Family Estate camera. Uh, that's down in Dayton. So what's ahead? What do we see coming up here? Kind of quiet is the big message here. We're going to be mainly dry through the weekend. So today's Tuesday, right? So that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's five days dry or mainly dry. We might get a sprinkle somewhere in there. Mixture of clouds and sun. We'll have some frosty nights, especially these next few nights, assuming skies do clear out tonight. Uh, high temperatures uh, will return to normal. So highs will be mainly around 50 degrees over the next few days. And then back to rainy. Uh, when do we turn wet again? You know, rain always comes back, right? Well, if not on Monday, It'll be Tuesday for sure. That's the next time we actually see a really juicy, wet, kind of windy system coming in off the Pacific Ocean. But tonight, mid to upper 20s, assuming, again, sky's clear, not much of any uh, wind. So uh, bus stop forecast for the kids. Chilly, 28 degrees, frosty but clear. And since most roads are dry, or maybe all roads are dry, uh, I'm not worried about, you know, a bunch of ice on the roadways. Tomorrow afternoon, pretty nice. A little bit warmer than today, up a notch or two from uh, today's high in the mid-40s. So that cold system, it's moved off to the south. Now it's down in Nevada, and it's giving lots of snow showers to the de desert southwest. That's headed down there. So now high pressure, which is sinking air, kind of noses in over the top of us for a few days, and it's just going to stay put. And weather systems that move into that, they stretch and they fall apart. And so tomorrow you see patchy morning fog, sunshine in the afternoon. On Thursday, there's a system offshore, but notice how it approaches but never really gets here. By Friday, what's left of it is just kind of nosing down over the top of us. So a mixture of clouds and sunshine the next few days. And tomorrow should be the sunniest of the next three days. So tomorrow, some patchy fog in the morning, 28, 42 at lunchtime. Nice, much brighter tomorrow, too, with more sunshine. 46 for high, and then cooling off quickly again tomorrow evening. Seven-day forecast, then what do we see there? Boy, a lot of dry weather for this time of the year. We look for high temps around 50. Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday. President's Day, remember, we got a three day weekend here. Uh, some light showers, looks kind of gray with showers around. And then this system on Tuesday, that's the only one in the next seven days that I say, wow, that's actually a pretty strong system. So we're going to get a good shot of rain and wind, I think, with that one coming in a week from today, but we're going to have to wait a week for that.